Number 3.10a, Algebra 1, using percents. I'm going to do fractions and decimals to percents. So there's three ways to write a percent. We can write it with a 5 with the percentage sign, or as a 0 0.05, or 5 over 100, as 5 hundredths. And percent means per 100. We can use percents to find percentages. We see percents used in problems about mixtures with different concentrations of solutions or candy or nuts. We also see them in interest rate problems or, you know, problems that have money. And the ratio of a number to 100 is called a percent. It's represented by that symbol, the zero, the little tiny zero with the slash with the little zero underneath it, and that's called the percent symbol. So don't forget that there's uh, links to helpful videos in the description of this video. I have an entire playlist on algebraic word problems that can help you, all right? When we solve problems that have percents, we change it to a decimal first. So if you see 64.5 percent, we change it to a decimal by taking this percentage sign off, and it's 64.5 times 1 one hundredth. And we can actually write this over a 1, can't we? And we can see it's 64.5 over 100. That means it's 0.645. See? Let's try another one. We've got 3%, and all that means is 3 times 1 one hundredth. That's 3 one hundredths, and as a decimal, it's 0 0.03. See? Tenths place, hundredths. Place. And if it goes into thousands, that can happen. But a lot of times when we're doing math, we'll round it off to the hundredths place. All right. And you, then you have to use an approximate symbol, remember, because then it's not exactly equal. If you see three digits like 125%, that's 125 times 1 one hundredth. So you have 125 over 100, which means you have 1.25. Okay? All right, so let's see what happens now with fractions, because sometimes we need to change a fraction to a percent, and it's easier to do this by changing the fraction to a decimal first. So if you see 3 fourths, remember, it's a little division problem. It means 3 divided by 4. How many times can 4 fit into 3? So we try putting that 4 into the 3, and we need to put a decimal point and some zeros to help us do it, because it can't go into 3 on its own, can it? 4 is too big. So by adding the decimal point and the zeros, we can make it go in, and it comes out as 0.75 as a decimal. We move that decimal point back two spaces so it's not seen anymore behind the 5, and we add the percentage sign. See? For 1 third, how many times can 3 fit into a 1? We have to add the decimal point and the zeros to help us do it. 3 goes into 10 three times, and we see that it keeps repeating with the 3. So we round to the nearest hundredth place and just put the percentage sign. See? We move that decimal point back. It's 33%. If we see six-fifths, how many times can five fit into six? 1.2 times when we do the long division. And the 1.2, we move the decimal point back two hops. One, two. We have to add a zero there, and it ends up becoming 120%. If we have 0 0.02 over 500 as a fraction... How many times can 500 go into 0 0.02? We have to add a lot of extra zeros behind the 2 to help us do it, and it comes out as 0 0.00004. To turn it into the percentage, we move it back, the decimal point back two places, 1, 2, and now it's here, and we have 0.004%. See? And we can make decimals more noticeable, more visible, we can write a zero before the decimal point, so 0.75 would become 0 0.75. That'll make it stick out that it's a decimal. And 1.29 is just going to be 129%, so the zero wouldn't affect it. But if you want to write a zero up here so that you can see that it's a decimal, you can do that, okay? And remember, when a percent has three digits without a decimal point in it, it's more than a hundredth. So 100% is 1, 125% would be 1.25, that's 1 and a fourth, isn't it? And 368% would be 3 and 68 hundredths, see? All right, so in our next video, 3.10b, 
we are going to actually solve some word problems that have percents, okay? I'll see you there. Bye.